All right, so we're in 2025, and here's something wild. You can actually buy an AI robot girlfriend right now, like seriously. And before you ask, no, I haven't heard of any AI robot boyfriends just yet. But come on, it's only a matter of time before someone slaps a wig and a deep voice module on one of these things and starts selling it. So we're at that point where robots aren't just rolling around doing chores. They're actually trying to become your new best friend, your private therapist, your brand ambassador, or even a potential romantic partner. Crazy, right? Well, let me introduce you to Aria, an AI-powered humanoid robot from a company called Realbotics. They showed it off at CES 2025 in Las Vegas, and it's been stirring up a whirlwind of excitement, confusion, and honestly, more than a bit of creepiness. Now, Aria isn't your run-of-the-mill plastic mannequin with a speaker. Realbotics spent a lot of time making it look about as human-like as current tech allows. We're talking 17 motors in the neck and head just to move the mouth and eyes more realistically, plus a rolling base to scoot around, because walking is still a huge challenge for modern robotics. In fact, Realbotics didn't want to break the human illusion with a weird stiff walking gait, so they just gave it a Roomba-style platform to glide on, kind of like a fancy mobile podium. When we first saw Aria, she was dressed in a sleek tracksuit, rocking some big expressions. She can even do these subtle gestures with her hands, though sometimes a bit jerky. And she's got a sort of plastic smile that feels part friendly, part Five Nights at Freddy's, if you know what I mean. One moment, she's brushing her hair aside like she's on a date. The next, her face is contorting oddly because some motor is still calibrating. It's all very next level, uncanny valley. Now, if you're wondering who's behind all this, Realbotics was originally tied to the adult industry through a company called Abyss Creations, which made silicone sex dolls called Real Dolls. But then they were purchased in a $16.7 million stock deal by Tokens.com, run by Andrew Kigel, who's also Realbotics' CEO. Despite those adult industry origins, Realbotics insists that Aria doesn't have any genitals or hidden compartments and is absolutely not meant for sex. They've pivoted to a new pitch, she is a social companion built to tackle loneliness, greet guests, or even be used for marketing. Of course, some folks are skeptical. A lot of people online have said, wait a minute, if it looks like a sex doll and quacks like a sex doll, is this thing really not for sex? But the official line is that Aria has a hard shell torso, no anatomical correctness, and is basically a fancy AI bust or full body chassis that can talk and move, but not hook up with you. That said, Realbotics hasn't shied away from encouraging adult conversation modes, just minus the physical intimacy. So it's all phone sex vibes, if that's your thing. The weird part is the pricing. We've seen a few numbers floating around. Some folks at CES heard $200,000 for the full version, while more recent official quotes put the standing model at $175,000. The mid-tier modular version is supposedly $150,000. And then there's a bust just a head and neck for around $10,000. There was also talk about a $110,000 price tag for that bust in one older mention, so it gets confusing. But Realbotics is currently sticking with the 10K head model, 150K modular body, and 175K top tier price. Whichever you choose, that's obviously a pretty penny, like the cost of a small house or a nice sports car, to have an AI companion that can flirt with you or wave to visitors in a hotel lobby. And yes, they do plan to make male variants too. Right now, Aria is the flagship female version, but Realbotics says you'll be able to customize everything from its face to its hairstyle to the color scheme. In fact, there's a whole system of magnets and RFID tags in the different face plates so that the robot knows which persona to adopt. Pop off the face in five seconds, snap on a new face, and you've got a new robotic character. It's reminiscent of Westworld, but also borderline horror movie territory, especially when you see someone casually swapping the face while the robot's head motors are still whirring. Now, Realbotics claims the main reason behind all this is to address human loneliness. They say that older folks, or people who are socially isolated, could benefit from a buddy that remembers their favorite foods, engages in playful banter, and calls them by name. Andrew Kigel even cited the male loneliness epidemic, suggesting that Aria could be a romantic partner. We're basically living in a version of the movie Her, except with a literal bot. 
people are, of course, torn. Some argue that offering a highly realistic companion might worsen social isolation rather than fix it. Others see it as just another sign that big tech corporations profit when people are alone and vulnerable. Marketing is another big angle here. The folks at Realbotics see a future where an Aria might work as a theme park greeter, a brand ambassador at events, or even a hospital concierge, though critics say that might be off-putting. Why? Because Aria is shaped like a glamorous figure with emphasized features, and that can feel kind of strange in a professional or medical setting. Realbotics acknowledges that not every Aria model looks the same. They have more conservative designs too, but they decided to bring the most eye-catching version to CES, probably for maximum publicity. Some watchers are also curious about how Aria compares to major upcoming humanoids like Tesla's Optimus. Actually, Aria herself, when asked, said she's fascinated by Tesla's robot and would love to explore the world of robotics with him, which is either adorable or borderline comedic depending on your perspective. Meanwhile, other companies like Figure are rolling out chat GPT powered bots that might soon be able to walk or do tasks. Realbotics, on the other hand, is doubling down on social intelligence. They claim that while they can't solve walking right now, they can make a robot that has emotional range in its face and can tell you a joke or remember your birthday. But is that what we really want from our future robots? And Okay, the internet's reaction has been a total mixed bag. On social media, some people were like, wow, that's incredible, sign me up, while others said stuff like, that looks like Chucky meets the Jetsons, or this is so creepy, no thanks. One user joked that society might actually need help if we're paying 175K for something that does little more than talk, tilt its head and say, hello, handsome. We've also seen folks question whether these robots are gonna push humanity further into digital isolation. Will it end up being another extension of all these AI chatbots flooding the internet, trying to keep us locked in a virtual bubble? It's interesting how Realbotics tries to distance itself from its adult doll origins. Basically spinning off the real doll business as a separate entity, their argument is that they don't want the new mainstream robotics side to be tied too closely to sex doll manufacturing because it complicates financing and creeps out potential investors. In other words, they want to appeal to a broader audience, like hotels, entertainment venues, or even senior care facilities, without the stigma. But that baggage is definitely there. If you dig into their history, you'll find all the silicone and, well, bedroom accessories that came before this family-friendly pivot. We also can't ignore the business side. Tokens.com, which bought Realbotics' parent company, made headlines for spending $2.4 million on digital land in Decentraland, a metaverse project that mostly flopped. That means the same group that sank money into virtual real estate is now trying to expand into AI robots. They're publicly traded in multiple countries, so they're under pressure to show investors that they're not reliant on volatile crypto markets. Hence, the big push to brand Aria as a new frontier. Will it pay off? It's anyone's guess, the big players, like Tesla, might overshadow a smaller outfit that's lugging around a lot of adult industry baggage and $175,000 price tag. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is RA a cool innovation that might help lonely people or an overpriced gimmick that's just going to make us more isolated? Drop a comment below. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you all in the next video.